The Honourable, Honourable Claire Curran. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. I stand here as a uh, proud and staunch mainlander um, representing the South Island um, dairy farmers um, from my electorate of Dunedin South um, and um, clearly advocating for this bill and its intent and its objective and its effect, which is ultimately pre protecting the interests of South Island dairy farmers. And, you know, um, this is a strategic bill. It fits into a wider strategy. It's a bill that demonstrates that this is a responsible government in direct contrast to the behaviour uh, of the previous government, which is now the National Party opposition, firmly in opposition. And I think um, what this the, the reason why we're having this bill, the reason why it is under urgency, is because uh, the previous government, the National Party opposition, clearly either was avoiding a stoush that they didn't want to have, or they just took their eye off the ball. They fluffed about. They had the opportunity to put uh, to put this bill before a select committee because there was a time limit on it. Well, let's hear from them and let's hear from the explanations as to whether it was that they just took their eye off the ball or they were avoiding a stoush that they didn't want to have before an election. Um, is is why is it that this bill didn't get to a select committee? given that it was time limited, two years, as the member before me referenced, two years um, this was triggered. Uh, <laughs> Madam Chair, point of order. Point of order. Point of order. Um, is it appropriate for another member in the House to physically come and interrupt a member's speech? Uh, I, I, I would suggest that it is um, highly unusual, um, and I'd encourage the uh, member not to do so. But I do uh, believe that uh, what is being indicated here is relevance to the bill. So I just encourage members uh, to stay. We, it is a broad-ranging uh, debate, but to stay, uh, if we can, uh, to um, the, the components of the bill. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, Point of order. Right Point of order. Right. Well, I appreciate that it's not normal for members on the other side to assist uh, government members by taking a copy of the bill. Um, the general debate was three o'clock to four o'clock today. We've now had very wide-ranging debates, and the last speaker, or the current speaker, has certainly not once referred to the Dairy Industry Restructuring Amendment Bill. Uh, we are. It's it's a relatively wide-ranging debate, but not to the extent we're discussing. Um, all aspects of the dairy industry. It's a simple piece of legislation. It's simply about extending a threshold for the South Island. It's no longer an urgency, despite the Honourable Claire Curran claiming it's still an urgency. It was the government's move yesterday after going into urgency to break urgency last night about yeah. 10 o'clock. I, th 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 I thank the member. Thank you. That's, that's, no, I don't need any more assistance. I don't need any more assistance. Um, it is up to the chair to determine relevance. Um, I have cautioned members that we, we do need to come much more to the substance of the bill, uh, but given that the nature of uh, the debate is quite wide-ranging, I will determine relevance, and points of order will be taken in silence, and so will um, determinations. So I call the Honourable Claire Curran. Thank you, um, Madam Chair. Um, the Dairy Industry Restructuring Amendment Bill No. 2 is before the House today because of a trigger that happened in 2015 uh, and, and a Commerce Commission report which led to a bill eventually being drafted by the previous government that never made it to select committee. That is why this bill is before the House, um, which uh, it, it is, had to be um, put through its stages without going to a select committee. And um, the, you know, my point is made, 
and clearly the uh, National Party opposition has, um, is a sensitive point, and so that's why we've had the reaction that we've had. Um, I'd also, as a, as a proud mainlander, um, I'd just like to acknowledge the, my heritage um, in the dairy industry um, uh, with, and acknowledge um, my godparents, actually, my godparents my uncle and aunt um, Digger and Moira O'Neill from Edendale. Um, it is. Um, Digger and Moira O'Neill, my sadly passed away, my godparents and my uncle and aunt. Digger O'Neill was actually sat on the board of the Edendale Cheese Factory when it was the Cheese Factory. Very well known in the Edendale. Um, and that I have um, milked a cow. Not very successfully, but I have milked a cow. Um, so. Um, I, I do. I, I actually feel very proud to acknowledge um, the O'Neills today, who have made who made a very um, large contribution to the dairy industry in the South Island, and um, and and the, and that the interests of South Island dairy farmers are paramount in this piece of legislation. But beyond that, and do acknowledge um, the Green member um, Gareth Hughes for the. Um, the, the importance of where this fits, and this goes to the government's, this government's strategic approach, its responsibility, its responsible government, um, looking at this in a context of a wider strategic um, uh, 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 undertaking of the dairy industry and its place. Now, that's looking at sustainability, it's looking at environmental impacts, something that the previous government never would have gone near. And that is of importance to New Zealand um, society, New Zealand Inc., and looking at also the ability for us to um, examine and uh, innovation in the, uh, in the industry, which will lead to more sustainability. I call